again. I'm on that bullshit today, right? I was scrolling up my articles and shit, and what do I see? I seen the interview with Deontay Wilder and Ray Flores from Premier Boxing Championship. And what I took out of that, Deontay Wilder is a serious nut job. He's a serious nutcase. Him losing one fight, this motherfucker done really lost his mind. So y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I must address the bullshit. Everybody from the 2142 across the pond, what's up? Punch that like button, subscribe, all that shit. Shout out to the playback game. I mean, I was scrolling up my article. Shout out to my dog, Martin Machine. You hear me? And and I look and I, and I see Deontay Wilder doing doing this interview with um Ray Flores. He started talking about how he want a homicide and talking about if you don't want to see what I'm going to do, don't show up, right? And then he used words like, I want it back in blood, like he pooh shiesty or somebody, right? He pooh shiesty and Gucci man now. He's saying back in blood. He telling everybody, if you don't want to see a homicide, don't show up. If you ain't liking what he going to see. This dude done seriously lost his fucking mind. I never seen a stranger case of a human being in my life. This dude, he steady blamed. Look, he still ain't got over that loss, y'all. He going into this fight, still not over that loss. He still thinking, oh, I'm Deontay Wilder. I can't, I ain't supposed to lose. Only reason why I lost, let me use his word because they put that juju. <laughs> he said they put that juju. And he said, he said he wanted back in blood. He said he's looking to commit a homicide. Like he's saying them words and dude. You ain't scaring nobody with you definitely ain't scaring Tyson Fury. You was really crazy. He's smiling all hard and looking and his eyes twitching and shit like a goddamn dolphin. Like all that shit he said didn't mean a motherfucking thing. Cause at the end of the day, Tyson Fury beat you the fuck up. This motherfucker say he told the whole now, I need the commissions. If y'all really give a fuck about people. Y'all should give this Deontay Wilder a mental evaluation. He seriously need one. This motherfucker said he want to die boxing. Forget his kids and his family. For the rest, out to my dog, Bonatti in the building. What's pop? He said, this ignorant motherfucker said, forget his kids and his family. In the years to come, he want to die in the ring. Deontay Wilder done went crazy. And I don't know if he's trying to put on that persona to think he's scaring Tyson, the Gypsy King with that shit. You ain't scaring Tyson Fury with that bullshit you saying. Talking about he wanted back in blood. Deontay Wilder using that back in blood shit because Tyson Fury licked the blood off his fucking neck. <laughs> He licked the blood off your neck. Now you on some back in blood shit. Retaliation. The fuck that supposed to mean? We seen your last fight. We don't believe you. You know, you ain't even got over the, the last fight yet. So how you think you gonna go in here ready for this one? Back in blood, right? He only wanted back in blood because Tyson Fury licked his goddamn neck. He said he wanted to taste Deontay Wilder's blood, and he did it. Deontay Wilder, you see this arrogant, egotistical? How am I supposed to lose? Anybody know me? When I took that helmet off my head, I went, how the fuck they going to just look at you and tell you ain't right?
So he need to definitely pray for Wilder. That motherfucker ain't mentally stable to, to be in a goddamn ring right now. I know everybody might be like, oh, no, nah, listen to his fucking comments he's saying. Look how he's smiling. That motherfucker doesn't really look like he went cuckoo. He done lost it, y'all. I'm sorry. I know it's like a big pill in his house, but this motherfucker done lost it. Tell me he want to commit a homicide. Tell everybody, if you don't want to see no fight, don't come. Deontay Wilder, we ain't seen no evidence or uh, no proof. In them two matchups you had with Tyson Fury, that you're going to commit a homicide against him. Straight up, Tony Reveal say, I'll tell you, he's lucky to be a nutcase, considering he died in that Fury fight and has an autopsy report to prove the facts. Like this fucking Deontay Wilder, I'm 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 worried about this motherfucker. Like seriously worried about he's gonna get seriously hurt in this next fight, y'all. All his bronze bombings around the world, y'all should be worried of him. That shit shouldn't excite you. That didn't excite me on what he was saying because it wasn't believable. He's still blaming this shit on something else. He's still pointing fingers. You know, like a sore loser. Y'all know what happened, a disloyal trait. He's still blaming Mark. Well, motherfucker, this is my uh, motto for the fight, nigga. This is justice. Uh, 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 knock him out for Mark. You hear me? Knock his ass out for Mark. Deontay Wilder is weird as fuck. Like when I was watching that interview with Ray Flores and salute to Ray Flores, oh my God, shout out to Lisa Bell. Did y'all hear when he say Jay Diaz was friendly? He said Diaz was too friendly in the locker room. So you gonna keep a motherfucker who was too friendly in the locker room. Do y'all hear some of the thing this pathetic ass individual sore loser motherfucker said he was too friendly? In the how the fuck can you be too friendly and still have a job? But he wanna swear up and down with no proof that Mark Breland put something in him. He's still trying to make us, y'all know it I wasn't right. What the fuck you mean we know you wasn't right? We seen you getting your ass outboxed that first goddamn fight. What the fuck is you talking about, idiot? You got two knockdowns. Whoop the fucking do. But that first fight showed us what the second fight was going to be like. Like Deontay Wilder, this is the, the, uh, the one of the most ignorant motherfuckers I've ever uh, seen in boxing. Don't worry about my kids. My kids, all right, I want to die in the ring. You want to die? This is just a sport, Deontay Wilder. It's a sport. This is my life. This is, nigga, this is a sport. You want to die and leave your kids to be raised by themselves for this fucking sport, bro. You just lost one fight, bro. This nigga act like losing one fight is the end of the goddamn world. I've never seen nothing more ignorant than Deontay Wilder in boxing. I'm serious. Like, you can't even give this motherfucker the benefit of the doubt, some of the stupid shit he say. Still blaming Mark Breland. Shout out to Coach K in the building. Iron Kong 26, Lisa Bell, True Sons. In the rough, unreal, in the building, dead game boxing. But Natty, Martin Machine, I see y'all. Like, like, I have no respect for Deontay Wilder, bro. None. As a human being, I have no respect. I can't wait for this motherfucker to get beat up, bro. Like, and this is good for boxing. We don't need dudes in boxing like him. He don't deserve... To be on the top of the echelon. This motherfucker had nerve to say, oh, I'm a private person. I don't do this. I motherfucker, you was posting all the time before you lost. 
every other goddamn day you was posting the picture of yourself. The fuck are you talking about? Talking about you don't do this and you don't do that. Motherfucker, you was always in the interviews and that everything when you was winning. Now all of a sudden this motherfucker won't try to make it to the, the public like he's so private. And then he blamed us. Y'all made me like this. No, motherfucker. You made yourself like that. You the one who done made yourself go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because you can't accept the fact that you got defeated. Trying to point the finger at us, America, and everybody around the world. Talking about y'all made me like this. He talking about because they kept their eyes closed. He he put his hands over his ear and they mad. What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid fool? I never seen a fool ass motherfucker like Deontay Wilder in the sport of boxing. I'm not lying to y'all. I never seen nothing so ignorant in my life. And, and, and like for dudes to, to co-sign this shit, that nigga need help. He ain't mentally stable to go in the ring. If he, don't, he don't give a fuck about his kids if he die. He don't care if he going to see his kids. Yeah, he said he build like a, some type of sinner. Like, that dude is a clown. Like, bro, he's not meant, like anybody, look, listen to me. And we need to take this in consideration for real, cuz. Anybody who say, don't worry about my kids. Whatever happened to me, happened to me in the ring. Don't worry about my kids. Are you fucking serious? This nigga is a nutcase. He done lost it. Y'all think this dude, the way he thinking right now, going to beat Tyson Fury? And I'm talking to the bronze bombians. This guy right here is finna get railroaded. I never seen nothing more weirder in my life. I've I, I never seen the fighter act like like maybe I have, but I, I haven't. I can't. It can't come to my mind where I seen a person react like this after one loss with no proof, no evidence, and nobody cheating or nothing, and he just standing strong on it, cuz. And then he trying to point the finger at us, talking about, we seen it. What the fuck did we see, Deontay Wilder? What the fuck did we see? We seen a six foot seven, 225 pound ass crybaby make excuses. That's what the fuck we seen. And then try to say, old oh, people don't got this. He was just throwing Mark, Mark Breland under the bus the whole goddamn interview. Like, bro, respect your fucking elders, bro. Respect your elders, nigga. You ain't no king. Nigga, you, nigga, nigga, we laughing at you. The world is laughing at you. All right, Coach K. Appreciate you coming on, man. Then we ain't, the world ain't with you. We laughing at your dummy ass. Anybody think motherfuckers ain't laughing at Deontay Wilder? Use as a, as a fool just as much as he is. Because this dude right here is sick in the mind. This, this motherfucker ain't right. And for this, if this fight gets sanctioned, he talking about homicide. I'm not feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling Deontay Wilder not going to be safe in this fight. Like the way he tarnished and said them things about Tyson Fury. The way his, like your mental got to be right. Y'all check out my last video I did, you know, when I'm giving Malik Scott his, I mean, his, oh, oh, well, never mind. I got this video coming up. I got this video coming up that I'm getting edited. I ain't dropped that bitch yet. But it's coming up, it's getting edited right now as we speak of how mental is so important. And I made this video before this press conference came. I'm going to still put it out because shout out to the outlaw pugilist in the building. I made this video because I thought what Malik Scott was doing was great for this guy mental. 
And I still do. But to hear this dude, like Deontay Wilder, don't talk to no me. Just talk to 78. Just talk to 78. Talk to the nigga who going to massage your shoulders. Because you can clearly see he gets offended when you try to ask his big old ass. Like this big old tall ass lanky motherfucker get offended and start getting soft and sensitive when you start asking him a real question. So how is it since you got rid of JDs? Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Damn, old lame ass nigga, just answer the question. Lame as fuck, bro. He ain't good for our sport. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. We don't need people like that in our sport of boxing. And he need his head examined. He ain't ready. He done got hit a lot of times in that mother. He talking about, I'm feeling rejuvenated like this is my second career. Mm. My bad. And then he say he got somebody special coming in. Like special? Nigga, can't nobody help you? You a lost cause. You still ain't, 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 ain't fucking gave up on the last fight. You still holding on to that. Tell me we know you ain't right when you took off your head. How the fuck we supposed to look at you and tell you ain't right? Tell me your eyes was rolling. This nigga really pointing to try to bring any excuse. Oh, y'all seen that, that that scratch on my eye? It was right above my eye. It was right above my eyebrows. It was a little scratch. Y'all seen it. Man, shut the fuck up. I'm sick of this dude. I'm sick of niggas massaging this old coward ass dude's shoulders. Steady throwing Mark Breeland under the bus because his punk ass lost the fight. Never seen something this pathetic in my goddamn life. How the fuck do motherfuckers respect? If you black, how do you respect this nigga? The way he treat the white man and the way he treat his own black man. His own color of his skin. But he's so fight up. How the fuck do you respect this fucking ingrate? Talking about he loyal. No, you ain't. You ain't loyal, motherfucker. Talking about white privilege. He tried to use that. If I'm any white person around him, I couldn't fuck with him. Like, how, how can you be a friend of Deontay Wilder's and be white? Seriously. Because he lost, he want to make up excuses and want to throw out racist ass shit talking about white privilege. How can y'all, how could you fuck with him? This is a motherfucking race baiter. He ain't good for the sport. Lose one time, want to say white privilege, but he still keep the white man who he say was friendly in the dressing room. Friendly? Tell me he ain't had the experience. Experience? Motherfucker, you had 10 title defenses. How the fuck he wasn't experienced? Boy, I never heard more bullshit in my life. I don't fuck with Deontay Wilder. I hope Tyson Fury breaks his fucking jaw, bro. I hope he breaks his jaw in the first round. He ain't able to come up off the stool in the second round. I don't fuck with folks like that. I don't fuck with a race baiter like that. White privilege. These motherfuckers act like, man, ain't nothing but a... a Less than 1% of white motherfuckers who actually some in boxing. This ain't white people's sport. But he want to say white privilege when we know his Mexicans and blacks done dominated the sport. Because this crab in the bucket ass lose one time, now it's white privilege. How can you be white and you Deontay Wilder friend and you still hang around this racist motherfucker? He tried to use race as a sign of defense to excuse himself for making fucking excuses and not being able to accept his fucking loss. Then you have them LDBC strays who just go along, get along with this shit, with this coward. 
He is garbage. He is trash in the sport of boxing. He is trash as a human being because his heart ain't right. He talking about, oh, white privilege. But you kept the white man. You fired the black man, but you stated the white man was friendly in the dressing room. What type of crab in the bucket ass shit is that to say? What type of crab in the bucket ass shit is that to say? I need, we need answers. And black folks, y'all respect this motherfucker? White folks, y'all respect them? Man, I don't got no respect for this motherfucker, man. I don't got no respect. Because, man, in life, bro, you're going to go through your ups and downs, bro. That's life. But when you go through your ups and downs, it shows the real character in you. How you going to build yourself back up? Is you going to make excuses like a little bitch? Or is you going to get up and go after it and get what you're trying to get, fam? Motherfuckers say this all the time. You ain't no boss if you ain't took no loss. So pampered ass, pansy ass, American. I'm, it make me ashamed to be even associated being an American with Deontay Wilder. He makes us look horrible. You see why people around the world look at Americans like the way they do? It's privilege. Look at this privileged, idiotic, ignorant fool in Deontay Wilder. And the way this fucking imbecile is acting. I want to make this about race. Oh, want to make this, oh, him against the world. Violence. Motherfucker, we don't, you, think, you think that's scaring Tyson Fury? Because you're talking about, I'm thinking violence with that wide-ass mouth. I'm thinking violence. Oh, violence. Nigga, that ain't scaring shit. Nah, for real, Jay Diaz has been loyal to Wilder for years, and he white. I can't believe Wilder said that about white privilege. Like, for real, bro. Like, the nerve of this, the nerve of this cornball, bro. Talking about y'all know this lawyer trainer. Say it, motherfucker. Say it. Stick your chest out and say it. Oh, I don't want to say it. I don't want because you know it sounds like bullshit to us. Say it. We want to hear your pathetic ass say it again. Steady make them excuses. I'm loving all these excuse-ass interviews you making. Motherfucker speak like he a third person or something. Tell me I feel off your energy. Motherfucker, you ain't God. Energy. You don't know what the fuck a motherfucker going through. What, they got to be yippee ki yay motherfucker when they come around you or something? If they ain't yippee ki yay motherfucker, their energy ain't good for you? Who the fuck do you think you are? Deontay, what the arrogance of this goofball. Talking about I feed off people energy. Well, how about the motherfucker not having a good day? Feed off that energy. What, they ain't sick because they ain't having a good day and they ain't kissing your ass or something? He want motherfuckers to kiss his ass. I feed off their energy. Ain't that a bitch? And this is the motherfucker who represents Americas, Americans as the heavyweight. This worthless trash. Because that's what the fuck he is. Use white privilege. Throw a black man under the bus. Say all this other shit. Talking about we made him like he is. Motherfucker, we can't make you like you is. If you don't like what you hear, motherfucker, turn off your goddamn TV. Get off social media, punk. You can't take it. And why? Because you got a P as a size of a goddamn brain. You can't take motherfuckers coming at you. Tell you the truth because you get out here with these old falsified ass allegations with nothing to stand on? Stupid motherfucker. Man, y'all hit that goddamn like button, man.
You punk? Got no respect for Deontay Wilder, bro. None. None. He's a punk. He's a privileged American punk. Oh, it's America. Oh, we do like this in America. Y'all let America cheat me. Shut the fuck up. Motherfucker, the fight was in America. Now you want to say America against you, huh? And this motherfucker talking about, I got something that I want to bring that I'm trying to do. It, but you ain't trying to do shit. You know what I'm about? You ain't got the star power to do shit. I like how Malik Scott trying to build your confidence up. But nigga, you ain't a mustard seed compared to Ali. Stop letting that nigga gas you up. And a fucking mustard seed to Ali. Tell me he wanna do something in boxing. You can't do shit in boxing. You don't even know how to move on for a god from a goddamn loss. Oh, they cheated me. They did this to me. Why did they do this to me? Cry baby ass fool. My thing is, I never seen no proof. I never seen no motherfucking proof from this sad of a motherfucking human being in Deontay. Why we never seen no proof, motherfucker. And you still running with this shit. Oh, you think it, this motherfucker think everybody against him? Shout out to my dog, Trav FDY, man. I can't stand this punk, Trav. I can't stand him. Motherfucker, I'm talking about, we made him like this. We made him mean like it. Motherfucker, you already a professional boxer. You're supposed to be mean anyway, you stupid idiot. Talking about, we made him like this. Y'all be mad at y'all self. No, nigga, you be mad at yourself because you can't accept you took a fucking lost fern square, punk. Hell yeah, we cooking on that fraud ass motherfucking Deontay Wilder. I don't like that dude at all. He don't represent uh, my race, black people. He represents excuses. That's what he. Re that's what race he represents. Excuses. He's pathetic. He's a peon. He's a cornball. Nigga talking about Jay Diaz was too friendly. Too friendly. He's just throwing everybody under the bus. Every, it's everybody else's fault but Wilder because he didn't know how to throw his fucking jab and set up his punches. Jay Diaz was a little too friendly. Too friendly? You blame Tyson Fury of having Ed Craig weights in his gloves. But he's just too friendly? And he still got a job, huh? You punk. Deontay Wilder is a real sleazeball. He is a real fucking sleazeball. I can't wait for this punk to get... Ooh, I can't wait for Tyson Fury to put them paws on him in my little scrappy voice. I can't wait for Tyson Fury to put them paws on him in my little scrappy voice. I can't wait to see this motherfucker face get beat like a fucking pinata on a Sunday afternoon. I can't wait. Sick of him. Man, y'all put some respect on that motherfucking like button in my bird man voice. Fuck Deontay Wilder. Got no respect for the cornball. I respect him for getting in the ring, but other than that, I don't respect nothing about him as a human being, bro. He's a selfish, uh, ignorant Fool, that's what he is, bro. He's a selfish, ignorant fool. And all this ridicule he getting, he deserve it. That interview he did with Ray Flores today, is he showed the exact reason why motherfuckers is roasting the shit how he think he the king of the world looking ass. This motherfucker think he, uh, I'm the king of the world, uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio looking ass nigga. 
They ain't going to sell no sparring sessions. And if he do spar, it ain't going to be against nobody who's going to be no threat. Deontay Wilder is mentally shocked. That nigga froze like the uh, Nintendo used to back in the day. Be, be winning like a motherfucker, falling a bitch on that game. That bitch will just freeze on your ass. That's exactly how his brain is. It's froze. I know respect for that bum, bro. He's a bum, bro. He's a privileged bum. Oh, I'm living. We don't give a fuck. You privileged bum. Oh, we living right. Don't worry about my kids. Well, get your uh need to be in a crazy house ass on somewhere. The commission still gonna let this go. He said he wanna get killed in the ring. He said, forget his kids. Don't worry about his kids. Don't worry about me. He put his foot down to let anybody know. Y'all but not stop that motherfucking fight. Let me fight to the death. Nigga, this ain't wrong. Nigga, this ain't burn knuckles. Fuck wrong with you, you dummy. And motherfuckers out here saluting him. They think, like, how can y'all get excited off this? I ain't excited. Well, it didn't make me feel like he gonna do something in this fight. He made me, he made me think I was right the whole time. You he's an ignorant son of a bitch. Who's full of himself. Everybody know how I look. He blaming us. Because we on him for he's saying they cheated. Nigga, you the one ain't brung no proof, dummy. You big old dummy. Yeah, to this day, to this day, he ain't brung no goddamn proof. The fuck? Man, don't talk to me about this bum. Make excuses for this bum. He's a bum. He's done. He's finished. Finito. Out of there. Hasta la vista. Muff, you punk. Cry, baby. Man, I lost the man. They cheated. They against me. The whole world against me. They put something in my water. Tyson Fury in this camp got to my trainer. And they paid him off to put something in my water. This is the nerve of this punk. They're talking about respect. Nobody don't got no respect for you, boy. I don't give a fuck about your kids, you punk. Oh, don't worry about my kids. Nigga, I worry about mine. I ain't willing to die. And not be able to go see my kids no more. What the fuck is wrong with this ignorant motherfucker? And niggas who ain't even getting in the ring taking punches for him, they with it. They with it. These niggas I heard talking about, oh, they excited by hearing this nutcase talk who sound like he's mentally retarded, respectfully. He's mentally retarded, respectfully. They excited about this mentally retarded sounding punk talking the way he talking. They ain't like he say, don't worry about my kids. Ain't now one of them niggas gonna take care of your kids. You think the LDBC gonna give a fuck about you when you lose this fight? Well, the, but you gonna be lost in a lost cause. They moving on to Earl Spence, nigga. Ah, uh. man, if y'all ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, man. If you ain't punched that like, hit that like button, man. Straight up. Shout out to y'all, though, man. I had to get on here and address this punk. Oh, the nerve of this dude. Like, don't you know we could do videos all day about this punk? 
אני לא 